there have been tales told over the last decade, of strange occurrences unable to be explained by science and logic. Tales of extraordinary events, mythical entities, and the bizarre. This, is one of those tales. Some say these mysterious phenomena are curses from the gods, others say botched science experiments. However, most sensible people agree that these events are all just tall tales, fabrications, or ghost stories. Things that parents tell their children at night to keep them from misbehaving. In other words everyone believed it was all pretend. Then, the bodies began to appear. Now, no one has ever said that life was easy, and in the lawless land of the post-apocalyptic commonwealth, this statement is a fact. In the old world, people died every day, and it's the same now as it ever was. The citizens of the commonwealth are all accustomed to bandit raids, genetically altered animals, and radioactive monstrosities that, nine times out of ten, could be explained away by science. So death is a relatively common occurrence, but not like this. Not inside the homes and businesses of decent folk, or on the streets of the big cities either. Not until, he, showed up. No one knows his name, or where he came from, his age, or if it even is a he at all. You see, nobody has seen this madman in action. Or at least, nobody that's still among the living. The only signs of his presence are his victims, cold, lifeless, bodies all disfigured in the exact same way. A twisted expression of joy shapes their mouths, but the eyes tell a story of pure agony, and despair. As the rigor mortis sets in, the expression is frozen on his victim's face, and, most notably, the groin area, for lack of a better term, is exploded and mangled inside of the victim's lower abdomen. The genitalia region of every victim is eviscerated, but nothing else on the body is harmed. Due to the expression left over, the people of the Commonwealth have deemed the perpetrator as Terry the Taint Tickler. Investigative reports have stated that his motives are unclear, but he does have a pattern, just, not in the victims themselves. He will target men, women, children, and any other living being whether organic or otherwise. No, the victims of Terry the Taint Tickler only ever have four things in common. They are assaulted at night, alone, at roughly 10.30 p.m., and on the third Tuesday of every month. The few witnesses that were willing to, or had the stomach to, give details on the murders all said roughly the same thing. None of them actually witnessed the murders, but they did hear something. Usually quiet giggling, then in the distance an outroar of pain-stricken laughter, followed by a blood-curdling cry of agony. Then, complete silence. When approaching the area from which they heard the strange noises, no sign of a murderer was found. Nothing except the body of the newest victim, and a mixture of blood, organs, and urine surrounding the corpse. The murders started occurring approximately 10 years ago, and tonight. Tonight, there will be, another one. We know the when, and how, but the real questions are where, and who. Who, is Terry the Taint Tickler? And, can he be stopped?